And I have with me Miss Mr. Chatelet. He's the one who in charge of the legal affairs of the embassy with me. And in fact, let me how many who knows me? Right here. Oh, the whole crew. <laughs> I can remember, I can still remember you. Can you remember you? Yeah. And the camera you know the classroom? Do you know in the classroom? Two particular students you have to remember. The smart ones and oh, no, no, I, I, I don't say that. <laughs> All right. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you. In fact, I know some of y'all from I know very well from Haitian background like me. In fact, um, in particular, I come to talk to y'all a few words about the identity. Uh, it's very important. Who have an idea. In fact, as you know, uh, the government change, maybe the policy may change, and the law may change, you never know. As you know, a few years ago, they've been asking in the Bahamas, uh, if you born from the foreign parents, you have to go to your embassy to uh, get a, a passport. Not only for Asian, whoever you are, Jamaican, um, um, uh, whatever, Trinidadian, if you're born here from the foreign, so to speak, parents, you have to go to your consulate or your embassy for you to get your passport. A few years ago, they used to give a travel document, so to speak, a little book, a blue book. Uh, the, govern the government has decided but is not going to issue no more blue book. You have to go to your embassy for you to get your passport. I'm here today to talk to you. Are you gonna get it? What do you bring to get it? It's very easy and simple. There is nothing wrong about it. And you can still, after a few years when you get it, when you reach 18, you can still apply for your citizenship or for your Bahamian passport with the Haitian passport. There is nothing wrong with it. As you know, since November 1st, I think last year, 2014, there is a new rule to come. The minister said, you will not accept no one and the school if you don't have a belonging permit. Well, you cannot hide from that. You cannot go around from that. You must have it. If you come from a age of a foreign parent. In fact, if you need a belonging permit, feel free to come to the embassy. You can speak with me. You can speak with one of the agents I have here with me. I'm going to, because both of them, they speak English. Some of them, they speak English better than me. <laughs> After that, I'm going to introduce themselves. They're going to speak with you. Um, for a few words, I'm gonna, not gonna, I, I, I'm gonna come back, but I'm gonna present them first, and they're gonna start, and whatever it is, I'm gonna go wrap up. Whatever I miss, I'm gonna get it back. Okay, I'm gonna invite. He is one of the, I don't want to say old, but ancient. Is is like a daddy to me. <laughs> Thanks, I don't know. Thanks, I miss. I call him. Anything I need to be done. I call him. His name is Miss, Mr. Pelissier. It's easy to pronounce. Can you pronounce it? Pelissier. Pelissier. Very well. Okay. Mr. Pelissier. Okay. How is the eye for everybody? Like you said, the reason that we're here, okay? We understand, so like you know, all of you, you will need a piece of identity. And according to what he said, okay, a few years ago, you could have a Bahamian identity. Now they don't want to issue, to issue 
generally added city to you. Because according to the law, and this is the same law that you are in it, you are babying if your mom or your dad is baby. Even if you were born here, if your mom or your dad is from another country, you don't have the baby in nationality. Okay? You could not care for the baby in nationality. Louder, louder, louder. Hmm? Louder? Okay. You could apply for the nationality when you get to be 18. Because at 18, you could take the baby in nationality. And you have to do that before 19. Because if you do that after 19, it might take a long time. If you do that between 18 and last year, you will get it the same year. Okay? Because the Lord said it's the same thing in Haiti. For you to be Bahamian, okay, your mom or your dad has to be Bahamian. If your mom was born in Haiti, okay, and your mom was Haitian, so practically you don't have the Bahamian nationality yet. You have to wait until you're 18 to get the nationality. To apply for it. Yeah. And what you need to do a passport, you need your birth certificate that said that you were born here, and you need the birth certificate and the passport of your mother or your, or your father, then we could issue that passport with you, which is a travel document, because if you need to travel, you have to get the passport. Okay? And then with that, say like you know, you'll be able, because a lot of places where you go, they ask you for a piece of identity. The Bahamian, they don't want to give you the identity now because they said your mom or your dad were born in it. If you have any question, you will answer that. And uh, uh, I'm first. going to answer it to you, Mr. Chevalier. Chatelier. Chatelier. Chatelier is just that it's like a legal section. Okay, he's a lawyer. Okay, he's a lawyer. So whatever question you have, you will be able to answer those questions. His name is Mr. Chatelier. Can Chatelier. you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Very well. I have some other students. I don't have one. Good evening, class. Good evening. And I'm really delighted to be with you today. And first of all, I want to congratulate you. Do you know why? Yes. One of your teachers, she said to me, you are very, very smart. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And I want you to know something this morning. As Asian, as Bahamian, we should be proud to be Asian or baby. The first thing you have to know, and you should see, you are black. And yes, we should work to put her on this TV or to put her on this. And this morning, our presence here is to motivate you. How important AID is in your life. The law in that country request uh, you should get the Asian passport before you obtain the baby nationality. That's nothing abnormal in it. To get the Asian passport, it's an easy way. And I think now the new leadership with the guys in the embassy, the nation embassy, will facilitate you to obtain that passport. And this morning, I thank uh, the Honorable Consul Pelissi, the Honorable Minister Councillor Dover, they will help you to get that new ID the law request in the box. Um, before we continue, um, I'm going to ask you to get a moment in silence and I will bring you the condolences for the life of the student who lost yesterday. We're going to take one minute in silence um, for the student. I don't know him, but I don't know where he is. We're going to bow our head for a moment of silence. Thank you. In fact, um, 
Any one other question? I think uh, before I go along, if you have a question, we're going to do it easily. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Um, I think Mr. Felice has something else uh, so to add. Some I want to tell you that I'm very proud to be here. Okay? I'm very proud to be with you. As I tell people all the time, I'm so happy to see that you are in school right now. Because really, maybe some of the time I can come here and sit with you and give you all the details. We really need two things in life to be happy, to be able to live. It's education and instruction. Education is what your parents and your church tell us. We need to live together, we need to respect people, we don't do bad things, we even have to have compassion to people. And the second part of it is instruction. Instruction is the knowledge you get in school. When you are in school, okay, you're gonna have the knowledge. And that will give you a chance to choose a profession. Whatever profession you, you need in life, whether you want to be a doctor, an engineer, you want to be whatever, because we will not need, everybody will need each other to live. You have to need somebody to cook for you, somebody to clean for you. When you sick, you have to go to a doctor. When you have a problem, you need a lawyer. At this time, this is the reason. We took our independence in 1804. It's for the abolition of the slavery. It's for the, all the black people. So we feel so proud to be Asian. We also feel so proud to be Bahamian because we are black. We all come from Africa. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that you, you are in school. And I want to congratulate you and keep telling you, stay in school, choose a profession so you could have a better life. And we're here to help you, is to be able to give you a better life. Yeah? Thank you. I think, uh, Mr. Le, I would like to thank you uh, for the such time to invite me uh, to come here. But in fact, what I want to, uh, because I know in school like that, at least I will have like at least 15 to 25, for not saying higher than that, um, I will find like a, a student who come from Haitian background, maybe 10, 15 uh, percent. I think the whole school I will find like 15 percent uh, come from Haitian background. I think I would love to speak with a, a large amount of students, but I don't want a class only. I think Miss Ile, you need to arrange that and find talk to Mr. Johnson how we can arrange that and for us to have a, a big conversation like with the students like to interact with them, talk with them, for them to ask questions. I think a lot of them need to know something about their root, about how to get an ID, or to, whatever it is. Why to have a passport? I think they have a lot of questions. I think right now, um, I think Mr. Mr. Chatelier want to add something. After that, we're going to take some questions to finish. One thing I want to say to you this morning, the Asian embassy is your territory. Can say that to your family. Anyone, if your roots are Asian, you can come to the Asian embassy and ask a question to anyone because we are here to serve you. We are here to help you. We are here to help you to understand. Hey, I think there is a misunderstood in the mind of a bunch of people here. They don't know who is Asian. They don't know who is black exactly. As a black, as Asian, we are one of the great nations, one of the great nations in the world. We are one of the great people in the world. We should be proud as a black people. I don't know what to say. That. Yes, Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chatelier. I think uh, we should have some questions. Uh, I'm willing um, to answer any question. Um, any, anyone have any question? Okay, you have one. Um, I know you are my former student. <laughs> what, are the, yeah. what are the requirements you need to apply for the Asian passport? The requirement? I think Mr. Pelli said, I'm going to tell you the requirement to have an Asian passport. Yeah. You're going to need your birth certificate, the bill that said you were born here. And you're going to need your mom or your dad birth certificate and passport to show that they were Asian, if they were born in Asia. You need the birth certificate and the passport? Or yeah. 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 Either, either. If, if you don't, either one. Either one. 
But the most important one, we have a certificate that shows that your mom or your dad. Your dad.